My name's Joe. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm here to have Dr. Sandra Lee check out this bump on my forehead. It was about 15 months ago I first noticed my bump. I thought it was just a pimple, but it just kept growing to what we have now. So it became almost like my third eye. I was even told by my wife that it was affecting my capacity to think normal, my brain. You better have it checked out. It's probably affecting your thoughts. Have a seat. Dr. Lee's going to be in shortly. All right. OK, thank, thank you. you. I asked my wife, I said, yeah, you think it could be drains? She said, sure. She took one of her diabetic syringes, popped it right dead center here, pushed it all the way down, and it stayed in there. No fluid came out, and I was literally walking around with this syringe in my bump here. And I remember her saying, nothing came out. Hmm, man, you need to get that checked out. Mr. Joe Carter. Yes, that's right. How me. are you, sir? It's nice a pleasure to meet, to meet you. you. Nice to Likewise. meet you. You got a bump right there. A bump right there. What yeah. the heck? Where'd you get that from? Uh, I don't really know. It's been there a little over a year. Okay. It started as like a pimple. Did it happen from anything? Did you feel no. like there's anything that triggered it? No. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Yes. Does it cause you any pain or discomfort, or is it mainly just the appearance that appearance is of it? No. And how quickly discomfort. it's kind of growing here. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever see a doctor for it? No. I'm the first one. You're I feel so one. privileged. Right. Joe has a bump on his face in a very noticeable position, right smack in the middle of his face, that you, you cannot avoid that. It has been growing there pretty quickly, so that is a little concerning to me. I'm really looking forward to taking a look at him and getting that off of him. Do you mind if I give it a little touch here? Right I just want to see what it feels like here. Yeah, you got like a little knob right under there, huh? It's pretty hard. I mean, what I would think if you hadn't given me this history of oh, how long this has been there, I would think a pilar cyst. But the okay. fact that you've only had it for about a year and it's grown to this size, you know, that's a little bit unusual. So <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what this is. Right. The best way to do this is to take it off, send it in, and just have it looked under the microscope, okay? okay. So Great. I'm really interested to find out what this is. All right. All right. Well, no. let's get started with you. Do what you got to do, Doc. Thank you. See you in a little bit. Okay. I think he has got a pilar cyst. It's a little bit strange because it's only been there for a little while, but usually those occur more on the scalp, but it just has that firmness here, so mm. I don't know. But it is right in the center of his face. You right. want the round scissors? I think a rounded scissor would be really nice, okay. just to be gentle because there's a lot of important nerves and vessels right there. All right, so let's get all set up. I feel nervousness, but if there's something there that's abnormal and shouldn't be there, it could be a dangerous to my health. It's got to come out. You make sure I'm not hurting you at all, OK? You feel me pushing on you, but you should not feel anything sharp. Well, my wife, she said it was affecting my thoughts, my brain. What? She said, oh, yeah, that's, you need to have it checked out, because I think you're thinking irrational. I think she's just trying to make sure you get this done. Yeah, she's, she's a good manipulator like that. Oh, <laughs> this is going on TV. Don't you forget that. See something, it's right there, ready. I think it's a cyst, it might even be a pilar cyst. Mr. Carter comes in with a bump on the middle of his forehead. It's been pretty rapidly growing. From the look of it, from the examination, I think it's a pilar cyst, but I never really know until I start working on it. Okay, I'm gonna give a little squeeze, okay? All righty. You got some kind of cyst here. Let's see what kind it is. We could kind of tell sometimes by the um, wall of it. There's no clear cut reason why cysts happen, but they just do, and they're fairly common. They do occur in the hair bearing area because they're derived from the hair follicle, so you're only gonna see them in areas that potentially grow hair. I don't wanna squeeze too hard or else this gets on our wall. You okay? Yeah, I don't feel anything. Good. I squeezed out all that cheesy content from Joe's cyst, and I've really discarded that because that's not what really counts. What counts is that sac wall. I need to remove that completely, and I'll send that off to pathology to confirm the diagnosis. Almost there. This looks like it's 
I don't know if it's an epidermoid or a pilar cyst. I'm just checking that I got the whole thing. It looks like I did. It's like a little lima bean. Joe has a cyst. It's either an epidermoid or a pilar cyst. The shape of the sac actually tells me that this is most likely a pilar cyst because it's thicker and it kind of retains its shape. Epidermoid cysts tend to be a little thinner and more friable and easily torn, but I'm only gonna get confirmation if I send it off to pathology. I can't wait to show you. All right, we're at the final stretch though here. Let me just take this little bit out here and then we're good. All right, you are now cystless. Oh man, great. I think the result looks great. I've hidden it really well in a natural forehead crease and I think over time he'll have a tough time finding it. Wow. Just puffy right now, but it'll come down. Beautiful, I like that. That's just skin cells that just kind of shed into this balloon. See this? Wow. When my wife sees it, she might say, oh, mm, she did a good job. <laughs> That's probably about it. OK, guys, I'm done for the day, all right? I'll see you guys later. OK. You're still here? I just finished my last case. I, I just have some charts and then I'll be done. I gotta tell you how cute my last case was. It was this older gentleman with a, with a cyst like in the middle of his forehead, like a cyclops. And he said that part of the reason why he wanted this bump removed was because his wife made so much fun of him. I mean- Well, I, I know what that can be like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, I think you're done for the day. Let's, let's, right. let's pack it all up and you're gonna take right, me out well, to dinner gonna, and tell me how much you love me, okay? I'm Grab your keys. These, let me take these. I'm though. grabbing my bag. I'm done. I'm done for the day. Come on, take those. I'm getting home. dinner, or you're getting dinner. Um, you're getting dinner. Why? It's, it, I, I've, I cook every other day of the week. Ha! Everybody knows that's a lie. <laughs> it's been two months since Joe's surgery, and his forehead is looking amazing. His third eye is gone forever, and best of all, his wife realizes his brain is just fine.